Number 10 then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. There we go. The proof question for four marks. Two statements. If it's true, prove it. If it's false, give a counter example. But what's A first of all? It says P is a positive integer. Well, the other way of putting that would be positive integer are the natural numbers. Then 2 times it plus 1 is prime. Now it's difficult writing a formula down <laughs> for a prime number. So hopefully this is the one then that's going to be false. So just think of a number that doesn't work. So just start at the beginning number 1 doesn't count. So you'd go through 2, then you said 3, then you would try 5. Now, so these aren't working. Then you try 7, that comes to 15. So P equals 7 means that 2 times 7 plus 1 is 15, which is not prime. So, A is false. But usually you then finish off by saying, by counterexample, P equals 7. And that's a mark. Now, part B, so this must be the one that's worth three marks then, so that must be the proof. If a positive integer, well, that's the same as a natural number, and this is a spix, has a remainder of one when divided by three, then so has n cubed, a remainder of one when divided by three. Now, there is a way of stating that using, there's a congruences thing which is written this way. You would say, this number n, if it's got a remainder of one when divided by three, it means that's all the numbers n, which give a remainder of 1 when divided by 3 are said to be n is congruent to 1. They're all equivalent to 1 under modulo 3. That's that statement there. Sometimes that's in a bracket afterwards. Modulo 3. But you don't need to know that. All you've got to do is somehow make this n into a number that obviously has a remainder of 1 when you divide it by 3. Well, that means you have to say this then. Let n be 3 times something, like 3 times k plus 1. Now, it's important that k's got to be a whole number. Well, in this case, a natural number. Which means that n cubed is going to be 3k plus 1 cubed. Now, making it equal to some expression, because you can't just work within its own, making it equal to this expression, 3k plus 1, is worth a mark. It's also important that that k should be a positive integer, a natural number. But they're not going to penalise you for not putting that part in, but you should. Now, unfortunately, then, I've got to multiply this lot out. So what you've got there is a binomial expansion. So I'll just have to rattle through that, remembering the 1 for 3 goes 1, 3, 3, 1. And with a 1 at the end, at least all I've got to do is go through the first terms. So I'll start off with that cubed. So that'll be 27k cubed. And then there'll be 3 of that squared, so that's 9k squared. And then there'll be 3 again of just that in its own, 3 times 3k. And finally, it won't be there because it's power 0, so it'll just be a 1 at the end. Now, you have to express this as having 1 left over when you divide it by 3. So if you can show that this part is a multiple of 3, so just take 3 out of it, that's 9k cubed plus 9k squared, plus 3k and leave a 1 at the end. That quite clear is of the required form, so that's worth a mark. Nope, the mark was for the expansion of it. Then picking out the 3, so quite clearly that is a number, a multiple of 3 plus 1, and putting in the results, you just have to write it out. Oh, which means n cubed has, ah, this is where that other piece of notation was so much easier has a, instead of having to write, has a remainder of 1 when divided by 3, which gets you the last mark. But the handy thing about that notation is, instead of having to write this big long sentence here, you can just say, that means that n cubed is also congruent to 1, mod 3, or modulo 3. But you don't know that notation, so you've got to write it all out. Now again, the only reason this works is if this part here is a positive integer, if it's a natural number. So really I should say has a remainder of 3 since this part is a natural number. 
since 9k cubed plus 9k squared plus 3k is an actual number. Because that wouldn't be true if this was some rational number, some fraction or other. But again, they're not interested in you writing this down for a mark.